Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We are here again today. Inspired Creations HOM brings to you another episode of Revelations. I am the most influential speaker from the House of M. Joining me yet again is this guy right here. He might become a regular staple of the show. He's been on it for how many weeks now? How many? 50. 50 weeks easily. This is Diggs coming back at you. Diggs, say hi. Hello, and today's snack is a granola bar. He's revealing his gimmick. One of he reveals snacks every week. He has a different one. Maybe they're maybe they're not. Some, he's going to run out of snacks at some point because the variety is just not there. But currently, he's still on a nice uh, rotation of snacks there. What I don't like about this snack is this digs. I know. <clears throat> I'll clean it. I'm going to show. I'm going to show the people what we're looking at there. Right there. Those are called crumbs. Those are called crumbs. And. Are we in camera? Focus? Mm -hmm. focus? Uh, I love this camera's great. Okay, anyway, welcome back to another exciting episode. This is Revelations where we reveal to you our finds of the week or our thoughts of the week or our emotions of the week. Whatever it is that happened to us this past week, we're going to reveal to you if we choose to. This week, it's just some more products, and we're going to start right away with some Hot Wheel cars. I've shown these before on the show, but I had them, and we came across two more of these guys. So again, we picked up two, and there's the other one right there. We got two of these cards. There's Diggs right there. Two of these cards again, and they're for Lego. Why is this one not in focus, but this one is? I don't know. I want this one to be in focus. It's better. Yeah, whatever. I'll so uh, again, go out to your stores. We got these at Target for 99 cents, and they're very, very cool. Um, you know what? I got so many now, Diggs. I might just open one up. And put a Lego figure in there. See how they actually work. See you got how some intended. right down there? We do. I wonder if, should I? Why not? You know what? Let's do it right now. This is this is totally un... We weren't planning on this. But I'm going to show you. There's a, I just noticed this wrinkle on the back of the card. And I'm, I don't like those. And it's got a little bend here. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's test it out. We're going to open this guy. I'm going to have Diggs. I'm going to have Diggs put the uh, Lego character in the car. All right, so, oh my God, this is exciting. 99 cents, folks. So they got the hot wheel car. Obviously, the wheels turn. Um, does this open up? I don't want to break it. Okay, all right, Diggs, I'll let you, remember, try to do that on the camera so people can see. While they're so doing that, I'm I'll using the Black Ranger too. minifigure. He was revealed Slaying a few him. weeks ago. Oh my God, it fits perfectly. Get it on the camera, though, Diggs. I will. Just got to angle his hands. All right. His hands are in the position so we can have grab the handlebars that are right there. All right. On. There we go. There's one of them's on. The other one. No. As long as he's holding on, it works. And I'm going to take this down so that the camera can focus on that one. Look at that. And there you go. Look, that is cool. So he's ready to be jumped out of a cannon there, launched out of a cannon. The thing is, though, that these Lego minifigures weren't meant for this Hot Wheel car. Why is that, Diggs? They were meant for these Lego figures that's in the Hot Wheel car. What Lego figures are those? Those have, like... So, you see how their arms are kind of, like, bent slightly? Oh, and okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, and the, the Lego are arms are like straight. straight. They're straight on. But nonetheless, this holds on to it. It does hold on to it. Not both hands at the same time, but one does. So give him one more panoramic view of that thing, the 360-degree view of that thing, and that looks pretty slick. Slow it down. It's got us focused, not the darn piece that we want to see. Move it back. Move it back. Adjust, Diggs. We're humans. We adjust. Smile, Diggs. Jeez. All right. Keep that up. That's just fine. All right. So we, got, we picked up two of those. Now just one. And the package, hey, not bad. There's a toy reveal on the fly for you. Um, we also got some comic books for you coming at you. Again, this week we got from DC Universe, Justice League of America number seven. This one is very peculiar because it has the specter on it. So the specter is pretty cool. Um, a godlike spirit uh, figure. That's my best description for a DC guy anyway for this guy. But it's the specter nonetheless. So looking really exciting there. Uh, moving along, we got Detective Comics, Batman, issue 957. 
continuing this story arc here. What's the story arc? The Wrath of the Spoiler. I love the spoiler. I really do. Her hero click is awesome. I think they've done some newer hero clicks of her as well, but I haven't gone. I just have the original one. Spoiler is very, very cool and underestimated by many. So don't underestimate the spoiler. Action Comics, Superman, issue 980 by Dan Jurgens here. This is, uh, again, showing some uh, awesome villains for Superman to fight. Cyborg Superman there looking in the background. And if you notice, who's, uh, who they're standing over? Can you tell who they're standing over there, Diggs? Okay, Diggs is in uh, <laughs> um, the Suicide Squad. Looks like they make it appear. There's Killer Croc, Harley, uh, what's Dead Deadshot, and Boomerang, Captain Boomerang's in there. So I can't remember the Ninja Girl's name. Um, but yeah, Action Comics came out. Looks like another exciting issue from Superman. And then out or going out of the DC universe, I bring to you for mature readers. So the DC books, those are all ages. Uh, have fun with those, anyone. But for mature readers from Image Comics, again, still celebrating their 25th anniversary, we have a, a, a new issue of the series called Redneck. I missed the first issue. I, when I went to find it, it was out for, I think, a week, a week and a half. And I went to my shop, Lost World of Wonders, see if they had any. They didn't have any, so it must have sold out. So now i got to get it in the aftermarket. Um, but Redneck is, uh, it looked very interesting. It's about vampires in a countryside. Um, that's pretty, uh, that's not selling the title. Well, I don't know much about it because I haven't read the first issue, but I heard it was really good, and we saw some sneak peek artwork um, from C2E2 about the series, and we saw the colorist there too, so it looked very interesting, so I decided to pick this up. Redneck number two just hit the stands this past week, and I was quick to grab that. For the most part, comics nowadays kind of give a recap of the prior issue. So you're not going to feel too lost. This is only issue number two as well. So I'm not going to be too lost trying to read this and catch up to it. Plus, I've read comics before I can kind of fill in the holes. Um, but I am still going to try to get uh, Redneck number one. But I'm going to probably read this uh, pretty quick here too. So, and that wraps up our comics that we have this week. Um, I think we just got one more thing, right? Yeah, just one more thing to reveal to you while Dig shows you the Lego car. Um, so this was, we just bought one of these things. Can I things. stop? Yeah, you can stop. Okay. We can stop one of these, or we can, uh, we can, <laughs> we can open one of these here. We just got one of these here. My God. He just got Um, And it's called a fidget cube. Now, Diggs, have you heard of fidget cubes? Yes. My arm hurts, though. Now I'm holding that up. Uh, it's, a, it's a 50 pound hot wheel. Yeah. Um, so, fidget cubes are the complementary piece of the fidget spinners, right? Yes, they're they're basically a cube where you press buttons and spin this thing and press buttons and flip levers and yeah. yeah. And I like this one. Someone showed this to me while I was we'll just say while I wasn't at home. Someone showed it to me. I don't know why to tell you where I saw it. Um and I was like, Oh my god, those are actually pretty cool. And there was one portion of this. So yeah, it's 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 a cube and each side of the cube has a little thing to fidget with. So we're going to show that to you. So here's this side. Those are just buttons. Those are buttons. You don't push them. Oh, yeah, there you go. This one doesn't work. So the top right button <laughs> doesn't work, and neither does the bottom left. But <laughs> the ones in that do work, yeah. In the camera. Get in the camera. He's testing. He thought I was lying to you all, but I wasn't. <laughs> so there's, there's one feature. Uh, we'll turn it on this side, and there's a little ball. That you spin around. That you spin? Does it spin? Yeah, it mm -hmm. spins. So you got that and going like for you. And little levers. And little levers that you put up. Oh, no, it's a gear. Spin it. Oh, it's a gear. Gear! There's this side, which is blank. Now, why would... Oh, that's probably the bottom. So it can't fidget with anything down there. All right, so I showed you this side. Ball and gear. Buttons. And then this thing is a little spinner? Yeah. You spin around. No, you go like this. Go like this. You kind of spin around. Spin. All right, I see it. There's a little dot that protrudes. You can tell that he's spinning it. Yeah, see, you make it seem so easy. Well, Diggs, go show the rest of the pieces. Um, then there's this thing. There's like a lever. Light switch. Light switch. 
I'm going to use that. If I ever want to turn anyone off, I'm just going to turn it off. If I want it back on, I'll flip it back on. But what if you put it in? Then they're in a state of flux. And, and then, then the last piece, this that's thing. my favorite one right there. I love the joystick. Oh, it is a joystick. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I yeah. like that. So this was picked up at a video store. I'll plug them. They're not paying us to plug them, but I'll plug them. It was called Family Video. Uh, we get pizza by their neighbor, Marcos. And they said they have a sign that says, ask, ask us about fidget spinners and fidget cubes. So I asked them, and this one was only $8. So they only had, the fidget spinners were all gone, but I'll be honest, the only fidget spinner I really wanted were the themed ones, and the one I saw was a Dragon Ball Z themed one. So I, I, I might get that. Um, but it was expensive, it was like 30 bucks. Uh, but all the other ones, you know, I, my, the bandit likes it, so she has one. She's gotten a couple, actually. Uh, do you like the fidget spinners? Meh. Meh, okay. He made a fidget, what do you call it? Turner. Fidget Turner from uh, Legos, Lego pieces. He customized it. There's instructions out there. Nobody, or nobody probably knows what a Fidget Turner is because it isn't real. I just made thing, something that would be a Fidget Turner. That I would call it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's out of Legos. It's your own design, right? Yeah. Um, and again, there's, a, there's a instructions out there. I've seen them on Facebook. You can find them online. of Fidget Spinners for, out of Legos. I practice. <laughs> um, but no, this is his own design, so we got to show that maybe next time. But there you go, Fidget Cube. So uh, find them. I like these better than the Fidget Spinners. Um, my favorite part is the joystick on this one. And maybe the light, the light switch so I can turn people on and off. I got a few people I'd like to turn on and off. And then control them with my joystick. It. Oh, you can push it. Yeah, that's when I want to fire my guns. You know what I like doing with a Xbox One controller? What do you like doing with an Xbox One controller? So, say that this is the joystick. There's like a thing where you can like pull it out and then you can like push it back in, push it back in. I just like doing that. You, it, it comes all the way out of the controller? No, not oh, all the way out. Okay. It like kind of pops up. All right, well, thankfully. Um, and you know what? This is the same color scheme as the Xbox controller, your Xbox, Xbox One controller. This is mine. The color scheme of my Xbox controller. Do you want it? Do you want the fidget cube? No. I'll get another one. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't really yeah, impress Diggs. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to impress anyone else out there, but it impressed me. All right, so I'm going to think of someone in my yeah, head. It's cool. And I'm going to turn them off. Now I'm going to turn them back on. I mean, but like, you know. And my gun? Just... So like when I'm driving, and I don't like someone driving in front of me. There you go. Or, or what? You can use this to drive. Brilliant. I'm going to take my hands off the wheel. I'm just going to do this. Go to the left, go to the right, go straight, reverse, and then go down. Go down. Find a way. Find a way to make it work. Maybe that means park. And there's a little ball to spin. This is pretty cool. It fits right in the palm of my baby size hand. Look at the little baby size hand. Um, and it's nice and white. Black and white. That's cool, I guess. Um, but there you go. That's about it for this week, eh? Yeah. Anything else from you? No. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank you for watching us. Um, plug time. So <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Diggs, how do you do that? Do you, um, you press the subscribe button, and then um, you press the little bell next to it so that you get notified of every upload that we upload. Yes, thank you for subscribing. And, if and you by do, the way, do you need this box? I do not need the box. Um, there go the crumbs. Thank you, Diggs. Um, yeah, subscribe to us, like it, comment, we'll comment back. Um, here's another task for our fans out there. Share it. Share it to your Facebook page or tell your friends about us. We want to kind yeah, of start growing. And let us know what you'd like us to change about the show. We won't listen to you. I'm kidding. No, of course we'll listen to feedback. Um, but give us any kind Drum of feedback. Box. is awesome. Um, My invention. So you can also find us, uh, more of our artwork, our projects that we're working on, on our Facebook page. Uh, search Inspired Creations, H-O-M. Again, the H-O-M stands for? Again, the H-O-M stands for? House of Thank you. Uh, and you'll see our T-shirts, our tumblers, our artwork, um, perler bead creations, uh, bottle cap necklaces, bottle cap charms, bottle cap magnets, all this fun stuff on there you can see us on. Uh, follow us on Snapchat. 
and Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Icebox Cast. And you can see us on iTunes. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. You can also see us on Cloud. this show. Well, you're, you're seeing us right now on this show. So this is the big one, you know. Follow us on Twitter at IceboxCast. You'll see all the links to all of these shows and anything else we tweet about. Uh, you can send us an email at iceboxcast at gmail.com. Same thing. You can ask us on, access us, access us on uh, Google Hangouts as well with that same email address. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know how we're doing. And let us know what you'd like to see. You like the stuff you see in the background? Let us know. That's about it. So I'm going to go adjust for this recording to end. Remember, it is never too late to create. Ta-ta.